All right, so this is a quick video about uh, an idea for experimentation with some help from my friend Marshall Lee here. This is about uh, building predictive financial models from time slice splines. So an obvious first question is, uh, what is a spline? Which is a good question. Um, it's basically a, a sort of piecewise function, usually of, of other polynomials, that can fit complex data instead of using a uh, single or really high dimensional polynomial term. Um, so you fit these splines, these pieces of splines between different points that are called not points uh, and that gives you a kind of continuous function that's easier to uh, compute and deal with than a, um, than a really high order polynomial. So here's an example right here of what one might look like. So say you have kind of all this really messy data, these uh, blue points and they're just kind of, you know, they have an obvious shape to them, but you can't necessarily fit a single function very easily through them. Um, so this is built off of, I think, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, half a dozen splines here fit through this data pretty nicely, actually. Um, so what's what's our potential experiment here? Um, this is illegible, so I'm going to put them in the way. Uh, basically, you have you know sort of two time two, uh, two variables um, you could look at when you're looking at kind of time series data in finance. Um, you've got a time slice of a certain length that you could use and then you've got how many knot points you want to try to fit into that time slice. So the outcome is going to be uh, basically a predictive model that uses those variables to try to predict where the sort of nth not point in the next time slice that maybe hasn't happened yet is likely to be. Um, and so what we want to do is try to see if we can experiment with different lengths and different numbers of not points and see if we can optimize uh, sort of accuracy of a predictive model, um, but knowing that there's a trade-off against sort of computational resources involved. So finally, you might be wondering why would we ever want to do this? Um, you could potentially use it in some kind of application like uh, high frequency trading where you know if you have a decently accurate predictive model about where movement on a price of a certain security is going to be in a very small increment of time and you can make a bunch of small trades very quickly based on decent predictive models uh, that are built off of you know similar time series past movements um, maybe that would be Maybe that would be useful. Maybe it would be not useful, pointless, um, and and you could find that out. But uh, you know, worth experimenting on anyway. So uh, that's basically it. And uh, thanks for watching.